What's good, y'all? Alright, let's begin. Okay, guys, so after the epicness that was last week's episode between Aaron and the armor, which is honestly like the best, which honestly takes over Annie versus Aaron in season one as the best fight in Tackle Titan. Yeah, this is about, that was probably my favorite episode of all of Tackle Titan. But yeah, so after that, and with its. So this week's episode is a lot more relaxed, chill. Like, really, nothing really happens in this episode. Okay, so back. Okay, so we start off with like you know how we ended last week with the colossal like you know like dropping itself onto Aaron, which we see that where there's this huge explosion from the colossal. Pro I, I this huge explosion, which is like knocking back everybody by like get the force of the wind, and then yeah, and uh, then the armor walks out with a uh, Ymir because I, I guess somehow Bertha makes it get Ymir out of his stomach. When he transformed back to human, I don't, I don't know how she got. I don't know how he got her out of there, but whatever. So then we get to, um, yeah. So they're walking out with Ymir and Aaron. Then we get. Then we pretty much just um, cut back to the commander of of that. I forget that uh, that corpse name. The one with that some roses on their back on their checks. I forget what they're called. We get back that car. Uh, that old man commander that was from season one. You remember the one that was always drinking. Yeah, we get back in, have some conversations, blah 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 blah. And we and this is and we so we head back to the walls, pretty much where we also get to see some of the uh, the police, um, pol military police, and we actually get to see Jean. Yes, Jean has finally come out of shadows. He's finally no longer MIA. Excuse me, why? Where was he? Why are we just now seeing him in like the eighth episode of Attack on Titan? The series was twelve. Ep the series is twelve episodes. Why do we wait until like the end to to show him off? Like. Yeah, we're seeing a couple flashbacks, but why has he been like MIA this entire time? Yeah, we get to see Jean, and pretty much just, and then we, and then they pretty much just, uh, uh, Sasha and someone else pretty much just tell him about the armored and the colossal showed up, um, Aaron fight him, blah, blah, blah. Then we get back to, uh, Arlen, who was looking over Mikasa, and I've, who was injured, along with, um, Zoe and a bunch of others that, that were there when the colossal, the colossal. Then we get to this, uh, flashback to when they were kids, and, Okay, and where pretty much um um Aaron is fighting with this group of bullies where who they stole some of his bread that Armin gave them and Mika, Armin tells Mikasa this and then Mikasa is running towards Aaron and did anyone else know that she's like running like Naruto with her arms behind her but did anyone else notice that she's over there flying around like she's a Naruto yeah and the fight and Aaron and Mikasa are just are pretty much just giving these bullies hell and oh my god Mikasa. Mm, has mm, Mikasa's Japanese voice actor nails those alien screams? Mm, absolutely great, and that's how I hear it. Yeah, they go. So yeah, even though, so yeah, no, and also there's just a like, shop owner that's witnessing the fight. He tells them, uh, the, um, I forget the name, the guy with the roses on their jacket. I forget what that car's name was. I forget what it was. And we're pretty, and then he's pretty like, hey y'all, the yeah hey, y'all drunks, y'all drunks sold to that plan car, so stop and they're like, hey, oh, let's put a sock in it, they're just, they're just hosting on, that dude, Aaron is like, Aaron is like, Aaron is not really worth the fight, but he still won't give up, Mika says I want to give him some backup to fight, and then after a while, the dude gets fed up with all this, after they like crash into like his store, crash his store, and then he, then we have like, then he's like, uh, they pretty much tell these guys that are wasting taxes, blah blah blah. And then a fight breaks out between him and one of the um the soldiers after he like punts them. And then we get like a boxing match. So while Aaron is over there trying to take care of the bullies, and someone else from the, I believe the military police comes over there like, all right, break it up, break it up, break it up. And then the bullies run, but Aaron ain't done. No, no, no. He keeps running after them. <laughs> Mika says just like Aaron. Mika says like Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Yes, <laughs> that's my best Mika impression. <laughs> Yeah, we get to uh, yeah. Aaron, then the fight pit ends, where that's around where um, Mika Safai wakes up, she rushes towards the wall, and oh my god, Mika's face, when Aaron tells her that's been like, about like the aftermath after the colossal dropped on Aaron, her faces in this episode are absolutely hilarious. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and she's pretty much just telling them about French Armin, that's been five hours since the since the armor took Aaron, and Ymir, and Mika's are just in shock, like, and then we get, then we see a quick flashback back to the, um, female tight, uh, back to the female tight when, uh, uh, Mika, when Mika's and Levi got Aaron when, uh, Annie tried to swallow her. Try to swallow him. 
Then we get back, then um, one of the soldiers that was actually in that flashback with Aaron, one of the drunk soldiers, actually pretty much just comes, talks to Aaron, uh, to, um, um, <laughs> to Armin and Mika, so pretty much like reflecting on those, on the olden days, back when there was peace. Um, before like the Colossal and the armor show up, pretty much just like, I wish we would get back to the good old days, and pretty much just like reminding them that Aaron's fine, he will not die, unless, if he asks for he will fight. He will fight until he until they they kill him. Pretty much like reassuring them that Aaron's fine. He's fine. And then they give him these um crackers or these food because they need to eat. Them. And the way they eat them, it's so dramatic. Like, they're like staring at the camera. They're like, Ow! they look by that like Aaron bites at somebody goes into this time form. It's so hilarious what they're doing. They're like. <laughs> <laughs> I was just sitting there like, can you eat them like a normal person? <laughs> Although you can't expect anything more from Attack on Titan. So yeah, and then we then the about the but then the scout and then um. A bunch of uh, some of them, a bunch of the others of the scout regiment show up. They get the horses to the wall, and then they begin, and then they begin uh, their journey to the mystical forest after um, Zoe showed them on the map where to go, where Aaron and Ymir is. Then we get back to Aaron and Ymir. Uh, Aaron in the mystical forest, where Primitive just wakes up with his arms missing, weirdly. And Ymir is actually woken up, so Ymir is still alive at the current moment. I thought she was dead when the claws. I was like, oh, she, oh, the shade, the claws. Oh, she's eating by the claws. Well, she's dead. Nope. Ymir is still alive and kicking. So, yeah, and then the episode ends with, like, Ryder just kind of like, oh, you're away. All right. So, yeah, guys, this episode was pretty good. Not not really much happened in this episode, but I still try. I would give this episode, um, uh, 8.5 out of 10. I enjoyed it. So, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you, and as always, subscribe for more. See you guys next time.